Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a static pose. And I actually messed up the audio. I forgot to wear my microphone, my clip-on microphone. It was sitting uh, like a couple feet away so that the audio was really bad. So um, <laughs> I'm trying to record their, their narration and while I'm watching the video. Okay, so with the static pose, um, uh, you have to create two keyframes. Uh, one keyframe uh, so that the, the bones actually move. And so I'm going to use the T-Pose. You don't have to use the T-Pose, the um, but you have to make sure that all the bones move into the static pose that you want to have the avatar to have. So the bones actually have to move. And so, um, um, so here I'm moving the mouse around. I'm pointing to frame one. <laughs> Um, and, um, so you always start on frame one. And like I said, I'm, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, uh, on frame one, I'm going to come over here <laughs> and I'm going to select all the controls and create a, uh, a, a, a keyframe on frame one. So the easiest way to do that is to select the move avatar control and then to go to select hierarchy. And uh, so I'm going to key, create a key for all the controls at once. And then here's you go to set key and that's how you create a keyframe. And on yours it might say home for the key uh, for the shortcut. Mine I just happen to have the letter S as shortcut. So I'm going to open up the options here and I'm just using the default options. And then I'm going to click apply. And you can see I made a keyframe. Um, so now all the controllers have a keyframe on them. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on auto key. You know, what auto key does is whenever you move a controller or a joint, it will, or a bone, it will automatically key uh, that, that controller or joint automatically. So you don't have to keep hitting uh, the home key or hit hitting set key or apply or whatever. So now I just clicked on frame two because on frame two, I'm going to actually make the static pose that I'm going to want to have. And so uh, you've got to remember, you have to move all of the bones. And so here I'm even rotating the wrist a little bit uh, so that if you don't rotate the wrist a little bit when you're in the static pose, other animations that are playing in the background will move, might be, might move the wrists. And so you'll be wiggling your wrists around when you're trying to you're supposed to be in a, a completely still pose. Because um, any bone that doesn't have any movement or rotation on it, rotation on it, um, it, it doesn't get exported out. So here I am, I'm making sure that the knees are bent a little bit and the hips are bent a little bit and not, you know, just sort of trying to make sure that everything has a little bit of, of move to it, you know, um, and so, you know, I'm making sure that, uh, just double making sure. Um, so I'm trying to make a half a halfway pleasing pose, um, while making sure I move all the bones from their original position on frame one. And so I'm even gonna, like I said, you have to do Every bone has to be different than frame one. Um, other, otherwise, this won't work. So even though all the bones have moved, I'm just trying to make a, a little bit more of a pleasant, pleasant position. Okay, now frame two. Uh, since we have no more keyframes, it's going to stay frame 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way through frame 48. It's going to remain in that pose. So we don't have to create another key pose. We just have to create two key poses. And now I'm going to open up the exporter. Now normally it would say 1.5.5 when I get the update out. So this is exporter 1.5.5, which is the, the, the exporter that I have fixed. And I'm going to export out I believe it's 10 frames. I could have exported out six or four. It's just 10 is a nice round number. Um, and as you see, I'm, I'm scrubbing right there and I'm showing you that the avatar is not moving. 
so you don't need to make another keyframe. And so I'm going to say frame 10 because this it's just a nice round number and it's very few frames. I click apply and it's going to go over and it's just exported out. Okay, now I'm going to go over to Second Life. And here we are in Second Life. And I'm going to upload the animation or open it up. And notice that's the animation we just exported out. As you see, that's the animation. Now, the way you upload it as a static pose is um, I'm going to make this 50% in and 50% out. So it's going, and this is. And as you see that underneath it says frame five and frame five. Uh, Firestorm is the, has it where you could select the frames if you want. The default Linden Lab default uh, viewer only has the percentage in and out. So you, you could have, I could have just entered five and five. Or I could have entered two and two. Two and two would have been fine too. As long as it was above one. And then I made it a loop. I could select loop and then I played the animation. Now you'll notice that her arms were moving them still moving even though she was in static and static um, animation was playing and that's because I made a mistake and I didn't make the clavicle bone see her arms moved a little bit there that's another animation playing and it's affecting those bones um, so I had forgotten to move the the clavicle bones I thought when I moved the arms because those Look, look like round shoulder pads up at the top controllers moved. I thought it moved the clavicle as well, but it didn't. You, know, you can see that they're, they're straight. Um, they're not moved. And I tried to select the, the, um, the controller uh, joint, but it didn't actually move the bone. So I was like, okay, no, I have to actually select this round controller and move the bone. See, I just moved it just slightly. And I made sure I was on frame two when I did this, so that as soon as I moved the bone, a keyframe was was created. So now I've actually moved uh, the the moved it so that it's actually moved the the M collar bones are animated as well. And so, uh, so we're done. You know, I I made sure I was on frame two when I moved them. I had the auto key; it automatically updated the key. Um, uh, the keyframe there, and we're good to go. We can export out the animation again. Um, and I'm just showing different angles to show that they actually did move. And I think it's like a half of, you have to, a half a degree is like the, or more you have to move a joint. So if you move it less than half a degree, it acts if it, as if it didn't. So now I just reloaded the file uh, by clicking reload file. And now you can see she is a statue. She is not going to move. And now I'm going to upload it. Static pose. And um, I didn't want to, I didn't need to click upload. I just clicked the wrong button there. But then I said, okay, pay 10 Lindens. And uh, now I'm going to, there's the static pose. Play it in world. And there's my static pose. And so static poses are actually very simple. They're very easy, very simple. Uh, they're just two keyframes. Um, they don't have to be 10 frames. They could be, I don't know if you could just do it with two frames when you export out. Um, that probably would work, but 10 frames are very short, you know, so. Um, and then it's pick 50%. So awesome. So that's the video, and it's less than 10 minutes long. Yay! We'll see you in the next video.